everybody. Welcome back to the second season of the Tribute Lounge. And this is a special, special edition, obviously. We have something we've been working on with Burton over the uh, spring this year. This is the family tree crow's nest. Back in the 80s when a lot of us started snowboarding, there's this infamous highway in BC called the crow's nest and it cuts it in half, east to west, Fernie to Manning Park. And a lot of us back then, that's where you snowboarded. There wasn't resort riding, there was no split boarding. And back in the day, this is the board you would have wanted on your back as you head into the backcountry. Ripping trees, ripping pow, this thing was designed for that. That said, I wouldn't hesitate to take this to the Big Bank Slalom either. Um, Mark will kind of get into why that side cut radii is so specific to sort of handle big mountain riding, bank slalom, land and switch, all of it. Exactly. So like the, the general concept of this board was to like match it up to the environment we have here in the Kootenays. We definitely get a lot of trees, tree jails even sometimes, some big open spots, and you end up half the time on a really nice groomer at the end of your run. We went with a shorter board, so it's a lot more simple to yeah, maneuver. 157 cm. So it's a 157. It's directional as hell. It's got six millimeters of taper. It's got, uh, it actually has, it's tied for the straightest side cut depth uh, out of all the boards in the current Burton line. So it's got a very straight side cut. What that does is it gives you really nice blends at either end. Um, we kept a wide, a very wide nose profile um, to give us a big differential because the tail we have there. stolen from we have stolen from the surf industry wingers. So the board has six mils of taper, like we said, and then to further reduce surface area, so you can really stomp that tail down into the powder. We've put a little winger in there, and it's beyond where the contact is by quite a bit. So it's not going to be uh, negatively effective on edge, but when you're linear and you want to drop it, it's going to drop, and it's also going to going to give you a really nice trim on that board so you can stand in the powder and ride in the powder with equal pressure on both feet instead of being back foot heavy. Fawcett's going to rattle off the specific specs. So it's a 157 centimeter directional, very directional board. It has a directional Superfly 2 core with three millimeters of camber. It has six millimeters of tail taper, i.e. tails six millimeters narrower than the nose. It has an 8.2 meter radius on 1160 millimeters of effective, which is actually a very straight radius for that distance, which yields a 18 millimeter um, cord side cut depth, which ties for the straightest side cut in the current Burton lineup. One of 20 units made, made at Craig's, and just to wrap it up, last couple things, you know, it has the channel, like all Burton boards, and this deck comes with a three-year warranty, which is amazing. Um, it's been a phenomenal project. We have to thank Chris, Leslie at Burton, Evan at Burton, Steve Hare, who's our regional rep, who helped us, you know, put all this together in the first place. Eric, also from F and Rad, was involved with that. Um, Ty Williams, who did uh, part of the artwork as we sort of picked our color palette and put all that together. And yeah, it's been amazing. Thank you guys so much.